Hey, even and all, Rich here, back for part 7 of this Queen Elizabeth tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the ship's funnels, and... Well, that's it, really. At the moment, I can't think of anything else to do, so we're going to focus on the funnels first, and then sort of ponder what to do next. So, we're going to go up to the uh, first deck house behind the ship's wheelhouse. So, there's the wheelhouse there, and you've got the deck house with the bridge wings on it. So, we're going to go behind that to the de uh, deck house with the grey top to it. And we're going to go to the centre block, and for the first funnel we want to go back to the uh, sixth block back on the grey. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So on the sixth block, build three wide. So that's the uh, front of the funnel. And then we want, for each side we want uh, two, and then two, and then two. So two, 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 like that. And then two back, one, two. Uh, and then four, one, two, three, four. And then... Uh, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, taking note, those last two blocks are one block lower than the rest of the funnel because it's on a different height. Okay, so you've got the seven there. The last two blocks should be over the edge like so. If they're not, don't worry. Either one or two blocks is fine. So we've got the seven there, and then we want to build back inwards four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, two again, one, two, two again, one, two, like that. So it should, in theory, look like that. So I do the same the other side. Two, two, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Two back. One, two, three. No, four. One, two, three, four. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four. One, two, three, four. Three. One, two, three. And then one, two, one, two, one, two. And the centre at the back. There we go. So there's the base of our first funnel. And it should look something like that. Now for the second base funnel, I might as well get the, the second base out of the way so we can start... Or you can start the second funnel whenever you want. So I go to the second deck house with the grey roof. And for this one, uh, I'm just trying to work out where we want to go. We want to go to the 14th block back on the grey. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then do the same again. So it's 3 wide. And then the 2, 2, 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. 2 back. 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, and then 7. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, and then the four. One, two, three, four, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, and then the other side as well. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two. There. So there we are. There's funnel number two's placement on the second deck house. So we'll get the first funnel out of the way, and then you can just basically copy that same design onto the base of funnel number two. So we'll go back to funnel number one and we'll start the fire tarting around there. So uh, what we're going to do is I'll start from the centre and it's basically the same design all the way around so, or one block more at the back end there. So we'll start at the centre on the front. We want to build up in the red eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then behind that we want ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, like that. And then in black uh, we want to go up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there we are. That's the design of the funnel we want. So it's eight, ten, one, and then in black eight. So you do that same design all the way around. But as you get to the back end, so the last, or well, basically all the red blocks behind uh, the grey, you want to build up nine, ten, one. Okay, so the first half of the funnel, eight, ten, one. Second half, nine, ten, one. So I should use this first, this front design all the way around the front half down to that point there and then we'll just copy that then we'll put that same design on the front blocks of each section so on that block that block that block that block so those four blocks there and then on there and then on that block there so that same design on all those blocks there so I just quickly copy it and paste that to all the uh, uh, all these other sections just quickly paste it on each section so what did I just do I didn't do it right did I um, Did I copy it right? Copy. Oh, I did copy it right. Okay, so I can just paste it all in place. Right, so there we are. There's the first half done. So when you've got all those sections in place, you should have the funnel looking like that. That's the theory, at least. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly copy down to the ninth block. Down to there. So I do copy again. And so the second half of the funnel, you want to build up nine. 10, 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
and then one, and then eight rare black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. So that's the design we want on the second half of the funnel. And I just quickly copy that into each section. So I paste there, 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 and on that block. And it's basically the same position as the, as the previous one, so it's on the front blocks of each section. And once you get it all in place, you should have a big cylinder that looks something like that. Although, I've actually screwed that up. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do that again quickly. So, if I just undo all those. Right, so I should do this properly now. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so we want that same design that we just done there. So, like I say, it's. 9, 10, 1, and then black 8. So I'm going to do that same design on that block, that block, that block, and that block. So the first four, and then that one there, and that one there. So that same design on all those blocks. So I should quickly copy this, what I've just done, or tried to do. And then we can paste on each section. Hopefully I'll do it right this time. And... That's better. So there we are. There's the cylinder, and that's all in place now. Or at least that's half of it anyway. <sighs> yeah, apologies there. So I've only, like I say, I've only done one half, but uh, I'll do the other half in a bit. So that's the design we're after. Now what you want to do now is, like with the hull of the ship, you go on the inside and start filling in all the gaps. And this is another one of those main, uh, mundane jobs which has to be done. But it's no big deal. Do 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 So there's the first few gaps filled in. Let's do this big section here. Oh, actually, I use welded for this sort it beer or bloody day otherwise. Uh, up to there, so we do set uh, two five one by fourteen. From that up to the next row, which is there. And then in the black. And so there's the side panel done. And then lastly, I do this last panel, or the last two panels, which are freehand, basically. And then we can start doing the slant. If you look on the prototype over there, the, the funnel actually slants. So we've got to do that in a minute. We'll just get the straight edges out of the way first. And then we'll sort out the fiddly bit in a moment. And then the last bit down here. And there we go. There's our funnel all laid out and looking nice and neat. So, like I say, it's it's only uh, basically a cylinder which is slightly skew if So that's that's basically the design you want to. Now I did say in the first video that the funnels on the prototype are probably a bit too small. So I'm copying the the design that I have on the prototype. But if you want to make the funnels bigger. Then it's up to you. I mean, you're gonna to have to use your own design, but uh, if you want to make them bigger, and you probably, you know, well, you can do that. It's up to you. As long as you get the funnel, or the funnels, uh, to sit properly on top of the deck house, you're okay. But uh, like I say, if you want to do your own funnel, you're on your own, but you're free to do so. Okay. Um, so uh, that's that. So anyway, what we're gonna do now is work on the slant. So we'll start with the. Oh, pardon me. Start with the black slant first. We'll go to the top, and we're gonna look at it side on. And it's the same on both sides, but of course I've only done one side, so I'll sort that out in a minute. So, look at it side on at the front. And you're going to want to count back to the ninth block. So, I'll side on and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, there's the first 9 blocks. And then you're going to remove the next next block along. You're going to remove 8 blocks along the top. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like that. Um... I think that's fine. And then after that, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's right, actually. So, what are the first nine blocks to be fine? I just want to just read in this a sec. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So actually, the first eight blocks I think are fine. So, I remove the next nine blocks. Uh, so, the first eight is fine. And then after the eighth, go from the next one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know what to do actually. Let me just pop over to the prototype because I think I've written this down slightly wrong. While I'm scratching myself. Uh, 
La, 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 la. So I look at it side on from the side of the front end. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's the first seven are fine, and then after that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, so the first seven you want, that's what was wrong. So apologies there. I shall I shall undo that and then and I'll recorrect it as I go along. So it's the first seven were fine. And then we remove eight. So I shall put it back up to the the full height that we had. So apologies there. So once again, we go from the side and count to the seventh back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then for the eighth block, which is that one, remove eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like so. And then for the next row of blocks, or next line of blocks, basically the next eight, you're going to remove two blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. And the center block as well, so nine. Like that so the top of the funnel should slant like that so you can see it slants down in sort of stages like that so apologies for the the screw up but at least I've gone back and sort it out anyway so that's the, the top of the black so I want to do the bottom of the black now so it's the same sort of process go to the bottom of the black and count back to the seventh so one two three four five six seven and on the eighth block down or the eighth block and then underneath that we add black block so one two three four five six seven eight like that and then next row along you go and add two black blocks so one two three three and then underneath there three and then four and then five and then six and then seven and then eight like so and that's the slant of the bottom of the funnel so it, it sort of follows in uniform it does look a bit odd but you can adjust it if you want to and of course I then do the center block as well because we're only counting the eighth but the ninth one in the middle there like so so that is uh, the top of the black done and then what we want to do then is go and sort out the stripes now as the first funnel here is on a, on a sort of a two platform thing so you've got the gray half and then you've got the, the wood half uh, the second funnel is going to be slightly different when it comes to the stripe. The stripe on the bottom of the uh, first funnel is, uh, hang on, I'm trying to work this one out. It's on the seventh block up. So on the stripe on the front, it's on the seventh block up. But on the second funnel, it's on the eighth block up. If you get my meaning, because of course there's one block difference between the first funnel and the second funnel in the front half. So we shall do the same uh, with the funnel now uh, for the stripe. So we we'll go back to the front end of the first funnel looking at it side on and count up to the seventh block so one two three four five six seven and we'll add our stripe there so we build seven so one two three four five six seven and then make it eight like that and then underneath we want to make it uh, I think it's eight again so one two three four five six seven eight like that so each stripe you overlap the last block of each section so it's eight eight and then the last one is eight I think so down one again one oh, missed that one uh, so it's one two three four five six seven eight and then make it nine at the end so there we go so it's eight eight nine if you get my meaning so it sort of looks like that so that's the first stripe so like I say, the first the stripe on the first funnel is seventh block up. The first stripe on the second funnel is on the eighth block up. So that's just what we take into account. And then for the second stripe, you count up to the sixth up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we start the process again. So one, eight, eight, so eight, eight, nine. When it says one, two, three, four, five. I just count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we want eight again underneath one two three four five six seven eight like that and then we want nine so one oh, pissed in again one two three four five six seven oh eight and then nine there and there we are there's the second stripe and it should sort of look like that. Not perfect, not brilliant, not beautiful, but it's a thing. So that's the uh, 
the funnel slant and two stripes done. I think there should be three stripes, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm just going with what I've got. So that is uh, the funnel done on one side. So like I say, I've only done one side, but I shall quickly copy that to the other side. And we can do that now. So like I say, it's, it's fairly monotonous, but uh, it's a design nonetheless. So I should copy to uh, that point there. We should use copy, flip and paste. So copy, flip to the right, and then paste. And there we go, there's the second half of the funnel done. And it should look something like that. And if there's any gaps, then of course just fill them in, because I'm using weld edit, I've made mistakes here and there. So I've just got to fill in those stripes. But yeah, if you're doing it by hand, then it'd probably be a much easier to explain. Well, it probably is easier to do, because you just do the same thing on both sides. But weld edit tends to fuck things up, in my case anyway. Um, so yeah, that's the funnel done on both sides. And like I say, apologies for using weld edit, but it just saves a lot of time. Um, so yeah, that's that job done there. So what I want to do now is go to the front of the funnel. And from the centre of the front, you just want to build a, a grey line up to the top of the red. So from the bottom, just build up all the way up, just following the top, or following the red, up to the top of the red, like so. And then once you've done that, you want to add a ladder. So add our ladder, which is a ladder. And using the ladder, apart from, or as opposed to wooden blocks, you just build the ladder, like so. And it should look something like that. And then at the top, we can add our whistles, which are, well, I use cobblestone brick, or cobblestone wall. So I put a whistle there and a whistle there. I think the ship may actually use horns but we use a whistle nonetheless. Um, and there we go, that's the first funnel. And, oh, there's a bit more detail to do on the inside. This is only optional because I don't know if this funnel or the, the Queen Lizzie's funnels actually had this grill but we'll go on the inside. Go one block down from the top and one block back from the front. Just add a line of grey blocks across like so and then another line like so. So every other block just add a, a grey line across. And then when the funnel dips down in height, just go down as well. Like so, and then carry on the same thing all the way across. So like I say, I don't know if the Queen Lizzie actually had this design inside her funnels, but uh, it's, it's more of a structural thing, really. And there we go, and then the next one along. I know the Queen Mary doesn't now, but she may have done originally. You know, the, the Queen Mary, the, the Queen Lizzie's sister ship, because the Queen Mary's funnels are not original now because they replaced them when they put her in uh, Long Beach but uh, I think the original funnels may have had the design I'm not entirely sure but uh, I'm not one to judge but there we go there's the funnel that's pretty much the funnel done so you do that same design you know exactly the same thing on the uh, second funnel but of course the front half is uh, what was it 9, 10, 1 in red so basically the same as the back half of the first funnel but that is the funnel nonetheless done so you, like I say you just do the same thing same thing basically with the other funnel and uh, everything should look fine so what I'm going to do now I'm going to do a jump cut when I work out what to do next well I'm going to do the other funnel first and then uh, we'll come back and work out what to do next so um, back in a moment okay back again so there's both funnels in place now so the first one there and the second one like I was saying is effectively the same design so I'll just plonk that one there and uh, it don't look too bad so the ship has uh, now I've sort of got his proper silhouette and uh, yeah, they don't look too bad. But like I was saying, if you want to redesign the funnels and make them look a little bit bigger, then you know you can do so. Um, but I'm going to leave them as they are, so uh, that's that. Right, so that's the funnels out of the way. So what we're going to do now is work on the ship's skylights and vents and all that shit. So what we're going to do is go behind the first funnel now and put our first uh, skylight in. So we go to the, the uh, behind the first funnel here and on the wood deck below, uh, we're going to count back to the sixth block back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we build uh, five wide. So one centre, and then two to the side, two to the other side. So it's five wide like that. And then the sides we want uh, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then across the back like so. And then we want to build. Uh, we want to add at each end. We want to add three, and then one. Same the other end, add three and one, like that. And then on each each end, we're going to add uh, stairs. So we've got our quartz stairs, wherever they are there. 
and then we're going to add stairs and stairs at each end like so stairs and stairs and then every other block add stairs as well so you've got uh, sort of a ribcage sort of thing and also add a bar going from the center <laughs> center uh, top or center yeah center top block uh, from end to end so you can add a spine and then add the stairs connected to that so you end up with a sort of a toast rack sort of thing and then we do the same on the other side so add the stairs each end like so and then every other block we add our stairs there we go and uh, that's that little job done there right so what we want to do now is just to work out what I'm going to do we're going to go to the back of that skylight now and then count back from there six blocks back from there so one two three four five six and then we've got to add some weird um, vent sort of things and I can't remember how these things are meant to be so I'm just going to work out I've got to skylight design so go one block to the side and we're going to add uh, three blocks like that and then three blocks again behind and then same the other side so that center block and one to the side add three blocks and three blocks like that so you have two rows of six like that and then add stairs on the top all the way around like so, so it stairs on the top like that sort of creates the illusion that it's a skylight but it's not if you know what I mean probably a very vague skylight but it's a skylight nonetheless they do the same the other one and they should both sort of look like that that's the theory anyway and then what you want to do is from the outside ones either side doesn't really matter go say about eight blocks out so one two three four five six seven eight and then build one two three four and then one two one two three four so sort of do the same again but slightly bigger and build these all the way around again with the stairs so that one there like that so do the same the other side I think it was eight wasn't it out to the side so one two three four five six seven eight one two three four one two three four plus the stairs and there we go there's our uh, skylighty things like that yeah nothing more nothing really more to say about that um, and then the last job for this deck house is to add the handrails so we'll get our iron bars because we always need those I'm gonna go to the middle of the of the first funnel basically from where the grey goes and where the grey ends just start adding the handrails around the edge of the uh, said deck house up to the other side and it should all look fine and then we can move on then to the next job which I've got written down but I can't quite remember what it's meant to be la, 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 la. the reason, reason I'm confused is because I'm recording this over two days I did half the video <laughs> and then stopped and then a day later I've come back to do it but I've, I've completely forgotten what I'm supposed to be doing the notes I've got written down are vague as hell so this is going to be an interesting uh, few minutes let me just get these bloody handrails out of the way first and there we go there's the handrails all done for that deck house and it all looks nice and neat beautiful in detail and all that guff right so that's that job so bear with me while I read my notes and try to work out what the hell's going on uh, so let's set thing. Uh, Alright, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go to the second funnel. So go to funnel number two. This is all the way over here. And we're going to go to the end of the grey platform. So the grey platform ends over here, uh, miles behind the sec uh, second funnel. And let's go from the centre line of the back wall of the greys, which is there. And then go to the third block back so one two three and then we build our skylight which is seven wide so that's uh, three either side one two three that way one two three that way and the sides are six so one two three four five six one two three four five six and then all the way across the back like so um, and I'm trying to read this we want to build it hang on yeah we want to build it too high all the way around so I just get a bit uh, confused so just build it too high all the way around like so and then for the cover which is basically a sort of a checkered thing so build lines across like so so two lines like that and then two lines going the other way so it's sort of a crisscross crisscross sort of thing so it looks like that so you've got uh, basically nine windows in the, on the top so that's uh, a sort of skylight there and uh, yeah it shouldn't, it shouldn't look too bad and uh, that's that job done there. So I should work out what to do next. I know there are vents to go around this thing as well. 
Uh, are they vents? I'm not sure. Oh, they, uh, let me just pop over to the prototype actually, because I've got it written down, but I haven't got the, <laughs> the proper detail uh, to go on. So I think it is basically a couple of blocks plus a few stairs, and there's four each side. So there's the skylight, and yeah, it's basically two blocks and stairs either side, and there's four each side. So uh, we'll go back over and work out what to do. The reason I was confused is I don't know exactly where to put them. But I do now, roughly. So we shall go to the front of the skylight and then go th uh, fourth block out to the side. So one, two, three, fourth block out and build up two. And then uh, three block gap, build two, three block gap, build two, three block gap, build two. Like that. So you get your three what's it's like that. And then stairs on each side. I think these are sort of, uh, actually, they're not spaced out evenly, but. Uh, the first gap is the uh, first two a three block gap. The next one is a one a two block gap, and then the next one is a three block gap. So yeah, so you sort of interpret it, interpret it your way if you want to. You can probably, I think the, the spacing them out by three is probably a bit too much. So you might want to make it two blocks. Um, but like I say, it's up to you what you want to do. So I'll just quickly sort them out. So there we go. There's our uh, venti things like that. So I shall do the same the other side. So it's fourth block out, wouldn't it? And I try and do the same design. So one, two, three, four, build two up. One, two, three, block gap, two, two block gap, two, one, two, three, two. And there we go, same design. So add the stairs on the uh, edges, like so. And there we go, there's that design there. And that don't look too bad. And then for this deck house, like the previous one, we can start adding the handrails around it. Only on the uh, the wood section, the grey section doesn't need handrails. So we just add our handrails around the wood decking part of it. And the frame rate's gone down again, which is a bit of a pain, but can't help that. It's all these big ships on this map. I mean, this map is absolutely covered in ships now. Maybe time to start a new one. Let me get these handrails out of the way. And there we go, that's that job done there. So that's uh, those handrail, um, yeah, handrails and uh, other things. So what we're going to do now is move on to the next deck house, which is the grey sort of C-shaped one. Or more of an A-shaped one. Um, and we want, how do we want this one? We want, uh, we want four vent things each side, I think. So we want, hang on, let me just work this one out. Yeah, four vents on each side, so similar to the design we had before. So we'll start on one side. So this is the right side, right right hand side. So one block back from the front on the grey, just build up two, two block gap, two, two block gap, two, two block gap, two, like that. And then stairs on the ends, like, like so. And no real design for these things. So it looks like that. And then we do the same on the other side. So it's one block back, or second block back, build up two, 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 and two. There we go. And then we add the stairs upside down on the sides. Like that. And it should sort of look like that. And this deck house doesn't require any handrails, so that's all fine there. Um, and then for the next job is to go to the next deck house, which is this big, big, big deck house with the stairs on it. And we're going to go to the centre block of it. So go to the next deck house, centre block here. And on the wood, we're going to go back to the. Uh, how far do I want to go? I want to go. Th hang on. Four vents on top. I think it's one block back and then one block to the side. We want to build four forward. One. Or four back, sorry. So it's one, two, three, four. Same the other side. One two three four so that's the that's two vents that's going to be so what we want to do now is turn the other way and then build outwards one two three and then one two three and then build basically squares like that so square there and a square there so you've got two squares like that and then leave a single block gap again and build another square each side like that so it's three squares and then the fourth square the other side Like that, so it squares like that, and then for the height of these things, I believe it is uh, four high or three, four high in total. So we just build them up 
one, two, three, like that, one, two, three, and then across like that. So you've got a square on the front like that. And then, uh, let's look at what we do. If we put black blocks on the inside of that, so just to cover the space like that, so as long as you can see it looking like, looking black like that, you're okay. And then around the side, we want uh, one, two, three, one, two, one, like that. And the same on the other side, one, two, three, one, two, one, and then fill in the rest with stairs. So stairs, 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 and actually need blocks down the bottom, blocks on the top, and then we want stairs and stairs. So it should look something like that, kind of like a, don't know what it looks like, but it looks like that. So there's basically square at the front, and then sort of half pyramid at the back like that. So it uh, sort of looks like that. So to get our slabs now, we want those because we're going to put a, a grill across the front. So I put uh, slabs there and slabs on the bottom like that. So you've got uh, a design like that. And it shouldn't look too bad. So what I'll do, I'll do the second one here. And then I'll just copy the other two into place. So it's basically a square at the bottom and a square at the front like that. And then we want uh, black blocks on the inside covering up the hole on the back. And then we want one, two, three, one, two, one. One, two, three, one, two, one. And across there and across there. And then stairs, 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 like that. And then lastly, slab, 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 slab. There we go. And that's that design done. So that's those two done there. You do the same with the other two. So what I'll do, I'll quickly copy and paste those to the other side. So copy from there. And then we do uh, copy, flip to the right, and then we paste. And did that work? Yes, it did. That's fine. So there we are. Got a bit worried then. Uh, so there we are. There's those four vents done there. And uh, they should look something like that. And uh, that's pretty much it for the deck house. I mean, there's nothing else to go on there. Um, looking at the prototype. It does look bare. So, yeah. You know, if, if you think it looks bare as well, you can sort of add a bit more detail if you want. Um, but using the uh, models and deck plans I did, I didn't have any detail on it. So if you want to sort of bulk it up with a bit more detail you can um, next job basically ha add handrails around the whole of the deck house all the way around and then uh, we can uh, move on to the next bit so just get this out of the way first I'm going to hiccups. All right, let's get this all out of the way. Across the front. And we can say it's done. There we go. There's the handrails all done there. All right, so bear with me a second while I just read my notes to work out what to do, and then we can move on. So uh, back in a... Well, not back in a second, but just bear with me. Uh, all right, what we want to do now is to go back between this deck house and the C-shaped deck house. And we're going to add that mast over there. So we're going to add the mast. We're going to get our yellow terracotta, which we used before. And what we're going to do, between the uh, two deck houses, roughly halfway between, so two blocks back, or third block back from the previous, and third block forward from the other one in the middle there is where you want to build your mast. And the mast this time is four rows of 15. So the, f the first mast on the bow is five rows. This was only four, so four rows of 15. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there we are, four rows of 15, like so. It's slightly lower than the uh, mast on the bow, but you can. Uh, sort of expect that. Um, if you want to build it an extra row of 15 you can but it's up to you. Um, and then what we do, say 5 down from the top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, build out 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 down from there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, build out 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there we go. So that's that master done there, and uh, it don't look too bad. That's the theory, at least. So what we want to do now, we go back towards the boat deck. 
So about the end of the boat deck here. So you've got the overhanging deck here below. So with that, we know that the deck above that is the boat deck. What we do then is go back to the superstructure. So you've got this large superstructure here, which ends basically here and curves around the back. So if you look at it from above, so there's the long deck house there and it curves around. So what we'll do, we'll go back to the side, which is here, just before it curves outwards. And we'll extend this row here all the way back to the uh, deck at the back. So I don't know how many blocks it is, but just from there, just extend it back all the way to the end of the of the deck below. So all the, way, all the way to the end of the boat deck, like so. So there we are, extend it back like that. And then build it two blocks high. All the way down, like so. Like that. And it don't look too bad, do it? It's well, no real purpose for it, but there you go. And then we do the same the other side, so extend the uh, said deck house all the way along to the end of the uh, of the deck. Like that, and then double it in height. And there we go. And then across the back as well. So from this end all the way across the back to the other side. So just follow the contours of the, the superstructure from one side to the other and it shouldn't look too bad bloody hell, get there and there we go, there's all the extension done there and uh, it don't look too bad, nothing really to it, but there you go. And then what you want to do is add the deck to this area now. So from the top of the white blocks we just added, just add the deck. Go from the back end here all the way up to the uh, superstructure, which we built previously. So I shall stand on this block here and use the fill tool. So we do fill wood by 300. And that's filled in the whole area. And uh, there we go, there's a raised deck there. Don't know what its purpose is, but... Uh, I think it's sort of a, a lounging area or us. It might have been a swimming pool, I'm not sure. Um, the deck plans I had didn't show a swimming pool, so I'll probably, I'm probably building the early version of the ship because the ship, of course, did change a lot during its uh, during its career, so uh, this is probably an early spec specification. But uh, what we want to do now is go back to where the wall was extended. So basically where the wall uh, was extended, back here, and then just go a few blocks forward and then remove one white block and then build out two wood and then a couple of stairs going down so we need our wood stairs like so, so stairs going down like that so like you can see it's just an access point and then add the uh, white blocks around like that so there we are that's the stairs there and that was uh, the fifth block forward so I did the same on the other side so one two three four five remove the white block place with two wood blocks and two stairs the right way up and white blocks all the way around like so and there we go there's the uh, access point there and then lastly to top this, this deck off is just to add the handrails around it we don't want to have any accidents now do we add our handrails all the way around Like so, oh, I missed one, and then up the other side as well. And there we go, that's that job done there. Marvellous. And like I say, it's bare as well, I mean there's not much on it, so you can probably add a swimming pool or uh, some other guff on it, but uh, it is up to you what you want to do. <coughs> and uh, yeah, not much really more I can think of at the moment, so... Um, what I'm going to do now, I should do another jump cut while I will work out what to do next, and we should move on, so uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again, so what we're going to do now is add another raised deck, but before I do that, I just want to mention our first Patreon, uh, Jose Arias, and uh, very much appreciated for your contributions, sir. It is uh, a very, oh, very much appreciated, so thank you. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to do now is uh, move on to another raised deck. So we're going to go to the back end of the... Uh, promenade deck, so you've got the promenade windows at the side here, so that's the promenade deck there and we're going to go to the back walls which are just here, where they curve back in and what we're going to do is extend these outside walls by 
10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like so. And then we want uh, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then in 2, 1, 2, and then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's a colour block to mark the centre, so there we are, that's that side done. Now I do the same on the other side, so it's 10 back, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 3, 1, 2, 3, 2 in, 1, 2, 5, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there we go. That's those uh, walls added there. And we just want to uh, increase that to two blocks high, like we did with the previous uh, decks above. So two high all the way around. Like so. There we go, that's that bit done there. And then you just want to add the deck on the inside, so add the deck along the top, like so. And I shall stand here and use the fill tool because I'm lazy. Da -da 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 -da. And there we go, that's the deck added there, that's quicker than I expected. And uh, it should look something like that. And then, as before, you can uh, add stairs if you want to. Stairs are probably going to be a bit squished here, so I'll leave the stairs out on the side. If you look, if you see familiar or what I was on about in the previous one, if you want to add stairs and do the same like before, so two wood out and then stairs down, but because uh, this deck is a bit squished up against the outside walls, I'm going to leave the stairs out and just go straight on to adding uh, the handrails around it. And I think this is another sort of uh, sun lounges area, whereas the deck above I think was a swimming pool area, but I'm not sure, you know, I'm, I'm only looking at vague deck plans when I build this thing. So, uh, yeah, it's not uh, not the bestest of things. La, 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 la. And I've also been meant, uh, been asked, sorry, at, uh, or been asked, queried whether this hull can be used for the Queen Mary. Yes, it can, but because uh, this ship is, is exactly the same, or the hull is exactly the same length, same width as the Queen Mary, and the same height as well as I used for my Queen Mary. It's just this one is thinner in some places and wider in other places. Just it's sort of a slightly more streamlined. So if you're going to be building this with Queen Mary, in, uh, or trying to use my Queen Mary tutorial to do the top half. It's doable, but there's going to be improvised. You have to improvise some areas. So some areas are going to be sacrificed, and some areas are going to be uh, exaggerated. So it's just a case of trying it. You can do it, and then sort of, you know, change areas so it all fits together. You know, it's, it's, it's something that can be done, but I'm just sort of saying go with it a bit cautiously because it's all going to go tits up if it don't go right. Um, but yeah, that is. Uh, sort of the uh, Queen Mary debacle going on there but anyway this back wall here so we just added this deck here well, this back wall is completely bare at least it is on mine so I'm just going to add a few windows across it like so so every sort of two blocks or three blocks I don't know sort of add a window because I did mention oh, I didn't uh, or deliberately didn't add windows to this wall because of uh, the, uh, the raised deck going to be added in a bit so I think that's the centre, isn't it? Yep, that's fine. So it's basically just single windows across the back there, like so. And uh, that's that little jobby done. So that's that. Uh, I'm just going to read my notes. What we're going to do now is go down to the next, or go down to the, yeah, the next deck below. So there's the deck we just added, that curved wall there. We're going to go down to uh, this straight edge down here now. What we're going to do is add stairs to that. And we're going to go to the outside edge. Which is this block here? I'm going to count to the seventh block in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we remove two white blocks, and then we build stairs going down. So stairs there, and then blocks, stairs and blocks, stairs and blocks, and put the other blocks there, and just add stairs going down, like so. And it should look something like that. And then we add banisters going up. Like so, and do the same this side. And there we go, there's our stairs there. And I do the same the other side, so what was it? It was the seventh block in, wasn't it? So two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, so seventh block in, I do the same this side. So three, four, five, six, seven, and then stairs, piss stairs, blocks, stairs, blocks, stair, stairs, blocks. And blocks again, and then stairs, 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 
banisters, two up, two up, two up, and two up, two up, two up, two up, two up there. And there we are, that's that uh, stairs I added there. And the last job basically add handrails all the way along the width of this wall, like so, up to across the stairs as well, or along up to the stairs. And then just add the handrails all the way along to the other side. And there we go, there's that little detail done there. Marvellous. Right, so what's that job done? So just pick up my nose for a minute. That's better. And what we want to do now is to go to the centre block of the wall we've just been to. So the, the stairs either side there. And we're going to go to the centre block of the wall uh, just in front of that. So it's you've got the, the stairs are connected to the overhang above, but we want to go to this wall underneath. We go to the centre block, which is this one. I'll just put a marker there so that is the centre. And then we want to count to the ninth. Uh, to the tenth block forward, sorry, on the wood. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're going to build our docking bridge. So that is uh, seven wide. So build centre plus three either side. Apologies there. So three like that, and then the sides are five. No, is it five? No, uh, it says six there. But I don't think I'm going to get six. So one, two, three, four. We'll go with that. So sides are four. One, two, three, four, like that, and then across the back. And then the front wall here, we're going to increase to five high. So two, three, four, five. And then all the way across the front, increase that to five high. Like that. So it's five high, like that. And then from the top of the five, we're going to build outwards. And we want to go out. Uh, no, we don't. We want to go forward first. So go forward. Hang on, is this right? This ain't right, is it? I think what we need to do is, is bring this wall forward a bit because this isn't going to be it's going to hang over the side too much, or is it? I think what we could do is go from this block here and just uh, just go from there and go outwards. I think. I think that's the best thing I can do because I think I've, I've uh, screwed up a bit here. So from this block here, we're going to go out uh, ten, I think. No, go out six. Sorry, so go out one, two, three, four, five, six, and then in front of that we go. Seven, I think. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we want ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. So you're curving forward slightly like that, and then we're going to curve back now. So we go two, one, two, two back, one, two, two back again, one, two, um, and then we want to go in eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Plus a centre block, like so. And that's that side. Now do the same the other side. So what was it? It was out 6, wasn't it? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 2, 2 back, 2 back. And then in. What was it in eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there we go. That's the docking bridge laid out there. And then for the underneath the docking bridge, so these walls here, which the square walls there, you just build them to the height, preferably in white, to the height or basically to connect to the bottom of the uh, docking bridge. Like so, like that. And then do the same on the other side. Like that, and then across the back, like so, and that's all connected up. And then for the docking bridge itself, you can add uh, the wood decking now. So basically, just add the wood decking going all the way out to the side, like so. I shouldn't have done that really, but uh, well, this is what you meant to do. But if I wanted to use the fill tool, I would have had to uh, stay where I was. But never mind. I'll do this one freehand, and then I'll weld it at the next one with the fill tool. There we go. So there's one side there. Now I'll quickly do the other side with the fill tool. I shall stand here and use fill. There's the wood filled in. And it should look something like that. And it don't look too bad. And I think there's side pillars as well. So what we're going to do is go to the edge of the ship. And what we're going to do is um, from the edge go one forward and then build up three. Three and then three, uh, three. so it's three blocks wide, three blocks high, just to connect the bridge wing to the uh, deck below, or to the superstructure rather. And then we do the same the other side. 
So if basically from the wood down really, or from the white up. As long as it's 3-3 three, three like that, it should be okay. So you've got that uh, white panel there, and that's all connected up. And then for the stairs, this is something that's a bit confusing to me. So what we're going to do, go back to the front of the uh, front wall of, this, of the docking bridge, and we're going to extend forward, but I don't, I can't remember how far it is. I think it's one, two, three, like that. Or is it four? I'll extend it four, four. So four like that, and then one, one, two, three, four, and then across the front, and then extend that to five high all the way around, because this is meant to be the front of the docking bridge, because I'm I slightly messed up, I uh, improvised quickly and uh, sort of got it out of the way, so I build this all the way across and round like so, like that, and then what we're going to do, we'll remove the top line in between here of white like that, and then replace it with wood blocks going all the way forward into that square cubby hole, like that, and uh, that's how it's meant to have looked. Um, I did say the gap here was 9, but it's not. It's actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 5 block gap. What the hell was I measuring over there? Cause I, I measured over there and it was 9, but... Uh, oh, it doesn't matter because uh, what we have here it works nonetheless. So that is the docking bridge there. And then either side of this square building, we're going to add stairs. So I remove two white blocks either side like that. And then build stairs going down to, to our deck below like that. And it's too wide. Like that, so stairs like that, and then add the blocks underneath, and then the banisters two up, two up, two up, two up, two up, like that, and the same on the other side. Remove the two white blocks, replace with our stairs, like so, and then a banister uh, blocks underneath, and then our banister. So two up, two up, two up, two up. And there we go, there's the uh, docking bridge sort of laid out. You just want to add the handrail, so I'll do that in a second. I've just got to read my notes and work out what to do afterwards, so bear with me. And yeah, I think I've got it right. Anyway, before before we move on, I'm just going to add the handrails anyway. Sorry, I was just reading my notes. So we just add the handrails all the way around the docking bridge, get this detailed thing out of the way. And uh, everything should all be hunky diddly dory. That's the theory, anyway. So, and then around the square bit, like so. And there we go, there's our handrails and docking bridge done. Marvellous, beautiful, brilliant. Makes the ship look like it's got a rear spoiler now. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do now, get under the deck below, underneath the bridge wings, and onto the deck where the bridge wings are, or the bridge, bridge wing support is. And we're going to go to the centre, and we're going to add some stairs, and we're going to go from, the, from there, uh, the stairs go on the eighth block out. So here's the centre. We're going to count out eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, and then we'll add the stairs there. So remove two white blocks, and it's the same process. Add the stairs going down again. So blocks, stairs, blocks, stairs, blocks, and blocks again, and then stairs, 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 stairs. And then the banisters, two up, two up, two up, two up. And then two up, two up, two up, two up. There we go. So that's our staircase there. Do the same on the other side. So eighth block out. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll do a copy and paste for this one because it would be a real bloody day doing it. Just doing stairs. So I'll quickly copy that. So up to the centre there. We'll do uh, copy, flip, paste. And there we go, there's our stairs on the other side. And then what you want to do is on the top of that, underneath the bridge wings, add the handrails going across to the stairs, like so. And then across to the docking bridge support there. And then across from the docking bridge out the other side. And there we go, there's our handrail, or not handrails. Well, yeah, they are handrails, there we go. <laughs> That's that job done there. And then onto the well, I think it's the poop deck, but it's actually, well, I don't know if it is called the poop deck on this ship, but uh, this is the very ass end of the ship. And we're going to add handrails there. So I'll start from the centre and add our handrails. Now, as before, if you're familiar with my builds, I'm building the handrails like so, but I don't want them built on the black on the uh, wood blocks. So what I'll do, I'll replace the wood blocks where I know the handrails are going to go. 
so it's in the corner blocks there so it's just basically connecting all the black blocks up with a single block in the corners like so and then I shall build the handrails on top of all the black blocks going round to the side and because this is the stern there's an awful lot of black blocks so anyway, that's that side and then I add the handrails going round like so like that and then I do the same on the other side so I replace all the iggledy piggledy black blocks with well the, red, the wood blocks with the black blocks and there's also a bit more detail to go on here as well there'll be the, uh, a couple of mechanical systems or mechanical what's it's and a cargo hatch so just get these blocks sorted out of the way first and now I add the handrails frame rate's going ape shit I don't know why probably the amount of uh, ships on this server but there we go well, it's not really a server it's just a game but I'll call it a server because it uh, is partially online isn't it and there we go that's the uh, handrails added there and it don't look too bad do it looks alright and then last job for today is just to do the uh, cargo hatches and mech so we'll go from the centre of the back of the ship and we're going to go to the fourth block forward so one two three four and what we're going to do is add uh, three black blocks and then three either side like so so you've got three strips like that and then a line across the top to connect them all together like that so that's our first mech and these things are used for connecting all the rigging and things like that it's sort of a pulley system in winches and uh, that's the mech and then we're going to go to the 10th uh, forward so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for the hatch which is uh, 9 wide so 1, 2, 3, 4 that way 1, 2, 3, 4 that way and the sides are 7 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 1, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then fill that in all with white. This is just a, a small cargo hatch, so there's no uh, cover to it as such. It's just uh, a low, a low roof one. Like so. So there's our hatch, and then from the hatch, we're going to go forward again and add another mech, which is to the, uh, the second block forward. So one, two, we add another mech. Uh, three by three by three like so and then a line across the top like that and one more job is to add two squares of black blocks either side of the hatch so four blocks there sort of halfway on the side and the same the other side so four blocks that side so that is basically that job done there and that is pretty much it for this part so that is, that is part is this part seven or part eight I can't remember but whatever part it is um, we'll go with it so that is I think this is part 7 so yeah so that's part 7 done and um, still quite a bit well still a few more bits to go so for part 8 which is the next part will be uh, propellers, rudder lifeboats and the finishing off handrail so that's basically it for the next part there's not a lot to go on so we're very much at the end of this tutorial just one more video to go and get those small details done so like I said it'll be lifeboats handrails, rudder and propellers and uh, just basically tidying up in various areas so we've got huge amounts done, I mean this ship is huge and uh, to get it done in this amount of parts is pretty good achievements I mean uh, when I did um, uh, Queen Mary that took 12 parts um, this ship is the same size and it's only taken 7 parts so far and I think 8, eight parts will be enough so like I say part 8 lifeboats, propellers, rudder, handrails and we'll call it a day. May do a conversion later on to CY's University or the war spec but we'll see. Um, but yeah I think uh, we're doing alright so um, and also very much appreciated to uh, Jose as well for the uh, contribution on Patreon so thank you very much and um, we can call it a day there so I think uh, yeah so this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing and uh, I shall return in part 8 I think it is so uh, yeah bye for now